All right, so I'm actually doing it. Here we go, Tesla.com. Interesting thing, because the Model Y isn't out yet, it's actually not on one of these initial slides, which is pretty interesting, I think. It's just the Model S, 3, and X. But then I just go up here to Model Y. And let's go for it. So same features I've mentioned before, 66 cubic feet of cargo space, 300 mile range, EPA estimated, all wheel drive, dual motor. Now that's not all the same configuration, which is kind of interesting, but I'll explain. Then look at all that cargo space. I'm gonna be able to use that for my drums. It looks like it's definitely gonna be more space than my Honda Fit. I'm pretty excited about that. Fit up to seven adults, but I'm only gonna be getting the package with five seats. And seven seems like kind of a stretch, and we'd have, we'll have to see what it's like when it actually comes out. So I mentioned over 12,000 superchargers in my last video, and this actually says over 14,000 superchargers worldwide with six new locations opening every week. Pretty impressive there. Yeah, awesome supercharging anywhere. That great 15-inch touchscreen that we've seen in the Model 3, it's basically the same exact interior design as the Model 3, but it's just got the hatchback and it's a little bit bigger. Software updates, the glass roof is going to be awesome for that view. I'm excited about that. Yeah, so the performance, not what I'm going to be getting. Long range, 3.5 acceleration. I'm going to be getting the long range real wheel drive because it's the cheapest. So yeah, long range battery, 300 miles, EPA estimated, 0 to 60 in 5.5 seconds. Rear wheel drive, it says again up to 7 adults, but I'm only going to do 5. And supercharging, you have to pay for it. It's not included for free like it is with the Model S and X. Top speed, 130. I never need more than that. I, the maximum I go is like 85, maybe, and I got pulled over the one time I did that on the freeway going home from Northern California. So I don't really need that personally. I'm not in it for the sports. Premium interior. Yeah, the sound system is amazing. I forgot about that in these cars. I'm excited about that as a musician. So I'm going to put this on purchase price because I don't like the include potential savings because what that does is it actually... Look at this. It's including gas savings as a subtraction. But that's not true because I am going to save that much on gas. I totally agree with that. But if I'm going to finance this car, I still have to finance this amount, not this amount. So I don't like doing that, so I'm going to put it on purchase price. And I'm going to go with the long-range model. I want that 300 miles. See, if you go for dual, dual motor long range, it actually goes down to 280 miles. It does increase the top speed and the 0 to 60, but I'm cool without that. I don't, I don't really care. Five and a half seconds is plenty for me, and I'm more in, concerned with the range. So choosing the paint color, this has been a tough decision for me. I've been mulling this over for a while because it's an extra $750 for black. Looks pretty cool. It's an extra 1000 for the Midnight Silver Metallic, which I've seen a lot of Model 3s with this that look awesome. An extra 1000 for blue. Looks really pretty. And an extra 2000 for red, which is just a crime because that's my favorite color. And that's the Tesla color to me. But because money is a thing, I'm going to go with white. It still looks great. I've seen a lot of Model 3s in white. And at first I thought they, would look, they wouldn't look very good. I thought it would be kind of dumb. But I think with the chrome delete on the handles and over here, and then with the rims looking like this, the 18-inch aero wheels, I, I think that'll be good enough. I'm going to go with white because I don't want to spend any extra money. So five seat interior, you can click seven seat for an extra three grand, but that also won't be available until 2021. So I'm going to go five seat. You can choose white, which is pretty beautiful. And I've seen people with talking about how this is actually really easy to clean. Someone spilled an entire coffee cup on these white seats and they were able to just wipe it up because it's this you know, fake leather that Tesla uses. I'm just going to go with black, though, because I feel like white, even so, will get dirty, and I don't want to have to worry about cleaning it as much. I'm still definitely going to keep very good care of this car, but I don't want to worry about that, and black just seems nice to me. Full self-driving feature. I'm going to do that and add the $6,000. I'm going to do that right now because on October, actually on November 1st, it's going to go up by an extra $1,000, so this is going to cost $7,000. It's currently October 29th, so that's going to go up in three days. But yeah, full self-driving, it includes with the Navigate on autopilot, so it's going to do the automatic driving on the freeway for me, and it includes parallel and perpendicular parking, includes smart summon, and all the summon features that they're going to be coming out with, 
And then in the future, it's going to have these features. Recognize and respond to traffic lights and stop signs, automatic driving on city streets. Pretty excited about that. That's one of the main reasons I want a Tesla. And yeah, you'll notice here, if I list all the features, Model Y is 48. It includes the pearl white paint, includes the 18-inch wheels, includes the black interior, includes five seats, includes autopilot, and then full self-driving adds 6,000. So I'm at 54,000 purchase price, and it's estimating six years of gas savings as $4,300. For me personally, I drive a lot, and I'm picturing in six years that I'll probably drive about 100,000 miles. That's what I did on my Honda Fit. And so I might do a little less because I was driving back and forth to San Diego a lot, and I'm not doing that as much anymore. But I imagine I'll have more gas savings than this. So you got to do your registration. There's the highway patrol. There's the license fee for the vehicle. Then there's all these random little fees. Then there's transportation improvement fee. And then there's sales tax, 5130. That's huge. That's a lot of money, but you, you, know, you can't forget that. That tax is going to be there. Your $54,000 is not the purchase price, and especially not your $49,700 is not what you're going to pay. You're going to be paying more because you have taxes and registration fees. So total registration fees $600 plus tax $5,130 to a grand total of $5,730. So out the door, I should be at $59,130. It's a lot of money. It's a, it's a lot, I know. And I'm planning on saving up for a big down payment by the time this car actually comes out. And then I'm planning to uh, finance it and just plan ahead for this cost. It's gonna be a lot, but it's definitely worth it to me. And if you don't know why it's worth it, check out my other video, 15 Reasons Why I Decided to Buy a Tesla. All right, so I know what it's actually gonna cost. And then I know as well, I'm gonna have car insurance every month as well. And then depending on who I finance it with, I'm gonna have interest. But here we go, you can finance it with Tesla and or you could finance it with whatever bank you use or any other number of options. So as you can see, 2,500 is due today and it's fully refundable, which is pretty encouraging for me. And they've actually changed that on all their other cars, but it's encouraging to me because if for some reason something were to come up or something were to happen where I can't afford this car anymore, that I can get that money back and change my mind, uh, no problem and get a full refund. Additionally, it says your design can be modified after ordering, which is pretty cool. So if for some reason I came up with an extra $2,000 out of the blue and was like, I want to put this towards the Tesla, I could get the red one and change that option later. Or if I still want the car, but I don't want to buy the full self-driving right away, I can get rid of that later on before the car actually gets made since this is a pre-order and I can take that away later and then add it later if I want, you know, all sorts of different stuff. Any of these options I can change later. This is really just reserving my place in line and it is locking in this $6,000 for full self-driving. So they also have a return policy, seven days or a thousand miles, whichever comes first, which is encouraging because if three days in I didn't like the car, which I know won't happen, but I could return it and yeah so I'm gonna use Apple Pay I like Apple Pay and I just got the new Apple card which is cool it's gonna get me 1% back on or like 2% back on all purchases or something I don't really know but it's it's cool it's the Apple card all right I'm gonna do it I just have to press my fingerprint to the fingerprint sensor on my MacBook Pro and here we go I don't think you guys understand how exciting this is to me. I've wanted a Tesla for so long. I've watched so many YouTube channels, and now I finally can see this screen with this adorable animal saying, haha, yes, about me ordering my Tesla. I can't believe I did it. I'm so excited. So that's it. I pre ordered my Model Y. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, click the like button, leave a comment below, or subscribe to the channel. I'm going to be bringing all sorts of Tesla updates, especially once I get the Model Y. I'm going to be making all sorts of videos. I love making videos. I'll give you some drone shots. I'll give you some normal shots. I'll use autopilot in all sorts of traffic situations across LA and everything. I'm really excited about it, and I'll keep you posted. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you on the next video.